Hello and welcome to the Ed Asner and Friends Poker Night. My name is Atticus Jackson, and I'm here on behalf of the Autism Network to interview some celebs, talk about the night. Let's just have fun. Hi, this is Spencer Hart from Hearts of Heart, and I'm here at the red carpet with with Holly and Rob and, and Rodney P. I heard, you, I heard you won poker last year, Rodney. I was close. I was close. I didn't win, but I'm coming back to, to, to try to win it this year. She's not a poker player, but she's got a poker face. I'm going to be his cheerleader. Yes. Woo! And uh, what's your strategy tonight? My strategy? To win. All right. This is Dave Foley. Yes. Uh, yes. Hi. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. You look great. You're beautiful, beautiful suit. Thank you. You look great, too. I. Just have to say, first off, I love you and Kids in the Hall. Oh, I thank you so much. Uh, I don't often hear that from somebody under 60. <laughs> what brings you out here tonight? You guys. <laughs> I mean, this is, is so exciting. Um, I recently was at the Ed Asner Family Center, and you were there yeah. talking. And I mean, the place is so filled with so much goodness and it's doing so many great things for not only people with autism or on the spectrum, but the brothers, the sisters, the moms, the dads, because it takes a village, right? We all need each other. Yeah. And I love that that's one of the main themes of the Ed Asner Family Center. As SpongeBob, uh, how, how excited for the Ed Asner Family Center Poker Tournament? Oh man, I'm all about I'm all about it. I don't play poker myself, but um, hopefully there's some jellyfishing I can bet on. <laughs> well, we have a very large group of people who we support, mostly low-income families. We have a 30% autistic uh, rate of employees, so everything we do is to sustain our programs, to keep everything going, and just to be able to support our community. Well. We wanted to, it was 12 years ago, and we were doing it for another, another cause, and we wanted to find something that was evergreen that we could do forever that my dad loved, you know, kind of um, his legacy. So we thought about bowling, but bowling didn't have the right ring to it. So then we decided, well, you know, what about poker? And my dad was like, yes, let's do poker. So we did poker. Po my dad loved poker. He lived for poker. He played at least twice a month and he loved poker, so poker was it. So we had poker for Ed. What a night. Thank you all for making this possible. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play some poker.